Microphone check one two one two. Already know what it is, your boy's big face. Back at it again. Christmas Eve, Christmas Eve. How's everybody doing? I know everybody's running out to do that last minute Christmas shopping and all that good stuff. So everybody, please be safe. Well, where are my manners? Wouldn't be right. Fine, crack this show. In true form and fashion, peace to all the melanated kings and queens in the land of Zamunda. I was at work last night, right? I'm going to jump right in. <laughs> y'all, saw, y'all saw my thread yesterday. Oh, man. Let me, just, let me just bring you through it. Let me bring you through it. The Grinch who stole my Christmas, right? It's a damn shame. So, I was at work yesterday yesterday evening and I was on my way to go get a sandwich shout out fly hype on the check in what up baby what up nephew I was on my way to get a sandwich and some goodies cause I was hungry I said you know what I'm gonna give me a sandwich give me a little corn muffin give me a little water or something give me a little, give me a little V8 you know cause the brother was hungry I worked hard last night did a little installation Shout out to the carpenter shop. Um, So I went to this deli in the Heights, right there on uh, 168th in uh, Fort Washington. And I ordered, before I walked in the deli, there was this young lady, a sister, bundled up with a little bag, like a carrying carrying bag, and a blanket, and was on the phone. And she said, excuse me, sir. Um, Can you get me something to eat? You know, I'm not, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna ask you for money. Can you just please, you know, spare me something to eat? And I said, I got you, baby. I got you. You know what I'm saying? It, It was, it was a little nipply, a little nipply last night. It was cold. So. I went in there and I ordered what I ordered. I ordered a chicken sandwich, grilled, you know, grilled chicken, chipotle mayo, grilled onions, lettuce, and uh, pepper jack cheese. And I got her one of these like panini sandwiches. It had all the fixings on it. You know, it's hot. It was a hot, hot panini sandwich. It came with a bag of chips and I got her a water. All right. So I paid for my stuff. Make sure I bagged it up. And I exited out the deli. And I handed it to her. And I said, Merry Christmas. You know what I'm saying? In a, I'm in a good mood. You know what I'm saying? I'm in a good mood. You know, give back. She, I guess whoever she's on the phone with, she was like, ah. And takes the bag and tosses it into the street. And the shit splatters all over the place. It's like, I want to go in and order what I want. I just looked at her and was like, really? Alrighty then, <laughs> my Jim Carrey boys. Hey, right, well, that's not my fault. You just threw your dinner on, on the ground. So, as uh, Bernie Mac would say, fuck him. 
with crazy glue on their lips and handcuffs. Fuck them. Why should I feel bad when out of the goodness of my heart, I, I bought a meal for a person that was in need? And this ungrateful motherfucker threw her own, and she didn't throw my shit, she threw her shit into the street, splattered all over the place. And I was like, well, you couldn't have been that hungry. <laughs> you couldn't have been that hungry, boo-boo. So what I said was yesterday that, hey, beggars can't be choosy. Now, granted, if I feel so fit to give back when I feel like it and you know I've I've given I don't I don't make that a a Facebook thing where I'm got the camera and you know, I'm showing myself give you know give to the to the needy it's in it's in your character you know what I'm saying if a brother come up to you hey brother sorry to bother you know what I'm saying can you can you spare some chain I'm just trying to get something to eat a blase blah and I'd be like ah right, yo here man Get yourself a sandwich or something. You know what I mean? Be safe. Be warm. That's it. But the audacity of this young ass chick. Because she was young. You could tell. All that all that similac in her face. <laughs> she was young. But it made me put it into perspective for like a split second. I was like, damn. You got a black man. Willing. To help another black woman out when she is in need. And it wasn't enough. You know what I mean? I was trying to make sure this young lady had a warm meal in her tummy. And at least could go, you know, however, a couple of hours, whatever. Without having to worry about, damn, my, my stomach is doing the rent cycle right now. And that, that brother that... I don't know from a can of paint just bought me something to eat so I, I can appreciate that. But no, 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 no. Ungrateful ass biznatch. Word. She's deserving of all the vile <laughs> that I can muster. You know what I mean? I don't call women out their name unless they deserve it. You know what I mean? There is a it's like the matrix. Cause and effect. There ain't no action without a reaction. So She's getting that react. Hey, wherever you at, Miss Lady, or whoever you are, you know what I mean. I don't think she was homeless. It seems to me like she was just down out on the luck, and probably pissed a few people off and got kicked the fuck out the house. The last time I checked, homeless people don't have cell phones. <laughs> you know what I mean? She was on the phone, so she probably pissed somebody off with her badass attitude and got to sit in front of the deli now because she's hungry. With her fucking pissy ass attitude. So I don't know what happened all through the night because guess what? That that happened about what? Uh, I say about 9 30, 10 o'clock last night. Hey, a whole bunch of hours done went by. I done fed myself and I slept nice and warm in my bed. So, you know, karma's a bitch. Karma's a bitch. People don't be believing this shit, man. I'm like, yo, listen, I don't bother nobody. I don't wish harm on nobody. I stay out the way. I go to work. I pay my bills. I do my thug thizzle when I DJ. And that's it. I stay out the way. You know what I mean? I don't bother nobody. Karma. She was the Grinch that stole my Christmas. You know what I mean? I could... I could be a I could be a sour puss about it too and be like, man, fuck this shit. I could. I could. I could. But you know, it for me it just it just makes it more of a relevant talking point when we're talking when I'm addressing young ladies that are younger than me. And it's like why a young lady who is so young, because she was definitely in her 20s. Hey, what's up, Cuzzo? Uh, why is why are you so angry? Why are you so angry? Angry f for what? To be 20-something years old, and, and this statement is not just pigeonholed to uh, the Zennials <laughs> and the Millennials. 
it's it's for what women out there who just have this type of energy you ever you ever meet a woman like that you know what i'm saying you ever meet a woman she she may be attractive or she may not be attractive she can just be average and they just have this energy with them like they woke up on the left side of the bed they bra is too tight their head their hair not looking right they angry their lipstick is crooked eyeliners they just mad for no reason and they can't even greet you with a a a, a decent greeting uh hello good morning uh blah 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 they, you're just met with attitude so it, it, it makes you want to pose a question as to why we have a plethora of single men out here that's what the the gist of the story is, is getting to that's why i said the grinch who stole my christmas no I'm not going to let her steal my joy. <laughs> I'm not going to let her steal my joy. It's going to take a lot more than that. But I just thought for me, it was a, for me, I hope it was a teachable moment for her because I didn't have to do that. You know what I mean? Uh, shout out to Miss JL. I'll be, uh, hopefully we can bump heads later and knock out another episode of the rabbit hole. But I figure I have to do this short episode really quick and share that experience i had yesterday that comedy they say comedy is a reflection of real life so for me it was like a what the f moment like why did she just throw a good a perfectly good meal on the floor (laughs) like that didn't change that didn't change anything you're still hungry (laughs) and (laughs) <laughs> the word, the, the the best you can do now is pick the water up off the floor because the water didn't burst. It was in a plastic bottle. But hey, your your warm ass sandwich is now all over uh, Fort Washington Avenue. <laughs> oh shit and a half. Hey, cuzzo, tell Aunt Allie I said how to do, how to do. Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas. Tell all the little ones I said what's up. Little Justice and all of them over there. Little Trey. Everybody over there on the side of Brooklyn. You know what I mean? My kin, my kin folk. Shout out to all my kin folk. Everybody that know me. You know what I'm saying? Peace and blessings to everybody. Hope Tep. Hope everybody is enjoying the Christmas Eve. Hope everybody is safe. You know what I mean? If you're going to drink your Coquito tonight, fellas, ladies, uh, stay indoors. <laughs> you know what I mean. The cops is definitely looking for a reason to pull people over. So en- enjoy your family. If you're gonna overdo it, hey, put your keys in the basket and settle in on the couch. You know what I mean. Sleep it off. It's not. It's not worth it getting a DUI on on Christmas Eve going into the Christmas weekend. Definitely not worth it. So enjoy your family. Kiss the babies. Everybody's going to wait till 12 o'clock so all the kids can open up all the Christmas gifts and stuff like that. So that is the most beautiful thing that at least I hope everybody can enjoy, you know, about the these the holiday times. You know, it's all about the children. You know what I mean? And shout out to the parents who worked hard and uh, made this Christmas possible for all the cheering. All the little all the little ones running around rampant this whole year waiting for christmas eve so they can tear up all them gifts beautifully wrapped under the tree (laughs) shout out to the parents you know what i mean salute to y'all i I understand sometimes our hard work as adults go unrecognized you know what i mean i'm not a parent i'm an uncle you know what i mean shout out to my niece little momo you know what i mean i sent you some bread i sent you some bread so uh Sis, if you're if you're listening out there in Facebook world, make sure my niece gets gets them greenbacks. You know what I mean? I know she's she's been doing good in school, so you get good grades, kids, you be rewarded. You know what I mean? You gotta work hard. Work hard in life. You can reap the benefits of working hard. But yeah, shout out to shout out to all the parents that work hard. It's it's, it's a rare occasion that we get uh recognition or that they get recognition for the hard work that they put in to make these holidays. Uh, a special and memorable moments in their, their children's lives. So shout out to the parents. Shout out to my brother D on the check-in. What up, baby? 
Yo, man, what's up with your Knicks, man? <laughs> what's up with your Knicks? Yo, shout out. Shout out to the whole Knickerbocker Nation, man. Shout out to Nick Nation. And, and, and shout out to my co-worker, Sam. I'm his number one nemesis right now. Shout out to Team Miami. We finally got the split. The split win against Detroit Pistons last night. They whooped our ass last week, and we got some good get back. <laughs> so shout out to Team Miami. We currently in third place. Hopefully, we could we could split the uh, two way tie right now in the East. The West is looking crazy. Shout out to uh, Phoenix Suns and Golden State. Y'all looking crazy. Y'all looking crazy. But let's see, let's see what the rest of the season has in store because it's it's still early you know what i mean we ain't gonna jump to no conclusions right now you know what i mean it's still it's still early you know it's still early and uh fyi i will be at dava latin fusion later on tonight 1020 stuyvesant in union new jersey for the ugly sweater party byob kitchen is open till 12 you know what i'm saying music start at nine we going to be there, be square, everybody bring your dancing shoes, you know what I mean? It's going to be good, clean fun. <laughs> good, clean fun. You know what I mean? It's going to be good, clean fun. So anyway, short and sweet, figure I share my experience with y'all. The Grinch who tried to steal my Christmas, but you know, it's all good. But anyway, always like to close the show with positive energy. Again, everybody, please be safe. And also... If you guys get a chance to watch the new Matrix, woo! The new Matrix is fire, son. If you get a chance to watch the new Matrix, watch the new Matrix. Keanu Reeves, you done did it again. And the way y'all ended that movie, I know they're going to make another one. They're definitely going to make another one. So please, everybody in your spare time, definitely uh, watch the Ma- uh, Matrix uh, Resurrection. That shit was fire. Anyway. It's your boy, Mr. Babyface, DJ Shane, taking you out with our theme song, produced by myself, Fitz the Producer, and Brother Angel. This was a quick and dirty episode. This should be played at high volume. Shout out to Jacqueline on the check. And what's up, baby? residential area. Make sure you guys come on down tonight. Down to Dava Latin Fusion. We're going to be in the place to be. Ugly sweater party. You already know what it is. Boy gonna be on the ones and twos doing my thug thistle. Get your two step, get your, get your, get your two step. Come on. Once again, everybody, please be safe out there, man. Please be safe. You going? If you going overdo it tonight. Make sure you got a Desi. Make sure you got a designated driver. You know what I mean? No DWIs tonight. No DUIs. Get your, get your, get your, get your, get your, get your two step. Peace.